up, fam? Black Hippie here, and this is my girl, Kiki, albino BCI. But today, specifically, we're gonna talk about um, substrate, and the substrate that, you know, what's the best substrate for these animals? So this is what I personally use. Um, you know, it's cypress mulch. Uh, and this stuff, it holds the humidity really well. It, um, you know, it, it masks smells, like, I don't know. Granted, at the same time, like anytime I, well, I'm always checking their enclosures. So if I smell some, sh some poop, you know, uh, I'll definitely just like spot clean it and pick it up. Um, anyways, my point is that like recently I had somebody on Reddit, someone on Reddit, you know, I, I showed her, like a little video of Kiki here actually eating Kiki she was eating and uh, so I was feeding her and this person commented and said oh hey I think you should feed your snake in a different enclosure any current information you read about feeding your your snakes in, in separate enclosures it's not smart to do because what you end up doing is you stress them out my point with substrate is that it's really important um, and I understand the fear of if my snake accidentally eats some substrate with its meal, well, you know, your snake will be okay. I feel like as long as you have the right humidity, the right temperature, and things like that to help them digest. It's called impaction. I believe I could be messing that up, but my point with that, which I think the Reddit user was trying to uh, to get to, or they were trying to make that point. So my point is this right here. Using substrate is okay. There's nothing wrong using substrate. Um, if your snake is to accidentally eat some of the substrate, you know, as long as your temperatures are on point, they should be able to digest it. You know why? Because in the wild, that's what they do. They, they digest it. And that's because the temperatures and the humidity is on point for them. So they're able to digest it. So. Uh, the Reddit user, I appreciate the, I appreciate the input or the perspective, but at the end of the day, like you have to decide what works best for you. And so for me, it's like, what risk, what risk do I want to take? And so for me, like, you know, the risk of, you know, putting my boa in a separate enclosure and risking regurgitation which is what they'll do when you stress them out after they've, they've eaten they'll regurgitate their meal and so what can happen then is like now you're stuck with a way worse situation you were so worried about them not eating substrate that now they're not gonna eat at all and then they're gonna die look it up google it if you don't believe me but you know at the end of the day like I think everyone is just trying to do the best thing for their animals which is understandable but at the same time like I mean use your common sense you know uh, if you can um, and I say use your common sense because if you research if you research if you research if you research you'll find out things evolve you know certain practices change because new information is, is added and so that's my whole point um, with that but you know your snake regurgitating especially a boa I don't think it's worth it regurgitation versus what um, a little substrate that your snake can, you know, totally handle themselves, you know, with the right temperatures and humidity. So anyways, that's my little two cents. I just wanted to, you know, I guess like give you guys, you know, what I use and my perspective on it. And specifically just because of that, like I just feel there's so much bad information out there uh, in regards to like feeding your snake outside or yeah, feeding your snake outside of its enclosure. I just don't think it's worth it. And if you're worried about a little substrate, you can always monitor them eating, which is what I do. I always monitor all my snakes eating. And so if there's a little, you know, some substrate, I mean, honestly, most of the time, if there's a little substrate on the rat, they tend to readjust themselves and the substrate falls off. That's what I've experienced and what I've seen. So I just don't see, um, I just don't understand, I guess like the, the true complaint or where these people are, I don't know. Are coming from with this idea of like you know feeding your snake in a separate enclosure i just don't agree with it um you know 
I think the 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 risk are far higher in doing so. Um, <laughs> it's just not worth it to me personally. But here's my girl Kiki. We're chilling. Um, we just added a new member to the family. You kind of see that bottom corner without the light. Anyways, he's really cool. He's a, a jungle, but this is my boa. She's a beast. She's really cool. She loves to just chill. <laughs> yeah, definitely my favorite. Well, one of my favorite snakes for sure. But anyways, today was just all about really just trying to, uh, I guess like debunk this idea of like feeding your animal or feeding your snakes. Trying to debunk the idea of feeding your snakes in separate enclosures. You don't need to do that, you know. Um, they eat fine in their enclosures. I feed I feed her enclosure all the time. She's never hissed at me, never like try to bite me, you know. Uh, she's healthy, as you can see, you know, and she lives on substrate. Cypress mulch. If you've seen my videos before, you know that I always like to wrap things up on a positive note. And so today we were talking about, you know, substrate and what's the best substrate to use, you know? So there's debate, you know, in that. But at the end of the day, the positive side of it is that we're all trying to give the best life to our animals. And I think that's really cool and super positive. So I, you know, so that Reddit user who, I guess, wanted to call me out for feeding my snake in her enclosure, which is highly recommended across, I mean, like, I mean, through like every single like up-to-date like site, blog, vlog, YouTube video, you name it, you feed them inside their enclosure. Um, the stress, the stress isn't worth it. He's Baby girl. But yeah, so this is my girl. She's so cool. So chill. Good girl. Yes. But anyways, um, like I said before, please like, please comment, please subscribe. Subscribe more than anything. Like for real, it's like, you know, if you if you like this content and you want more, just subscribe. You know, uh, check out some other videos I've done before. Just trying to give love to this hobby of owning cool ass snakes. So Black Hippie, I'm out.